Hello everyone, this is Aaron and um, I will do today a little short video uh, to create a, a random number on a window form using a uh, Visual Basic 2012. I already opened it. Let's uh, go right away to business. We'll create a new program, window form, and let's call it random three number okay we call it here and say okay we would create the solution we will make it very simple just one button three text boxes as simple as it is and now let's change I as you know you can change the form name to uh, let's say let's call it random three okay you click here the name changed let's add some controls we will add a button let's just change the location of this one make it bigger and in the property we can change here on the text let's put it big three now from the uh, tool toolbox we have well, let's do a one text box and let's make it a little bit smaller we don't need all this we align it and you can of course the number here whatever is picked here we want when we pick the numbers just go to this box so what we're gonna do the text here if you look at this the alignment it's aligned to the left just change it to the center it's very simple and we can change here the font to be bold and make it a little bit bigger here to make it easy we can copy this one paste this is text box two and then text box three all the formats will be similar to each other uh, just you can do it this way and then move it around put it the way you want it now we have all the controls we need we need to click on this one pick three numbers we run it there you go as you see there's nothing going on because there is no codes yet now let's put some codes here we have to initial some stuff that's uh, initial some variable and check one this is what hold the value and check to hold the second value and and check three hold the third number okay now uh, let's use a random this is where you can do the random the random statement let's call it num equal no random there you go now let's initial a an array let's call it pec3 and uh, let's do like an it have to be i'm sorry here it has to be it has to be three okay so and uh, it have three elements i'm sorry three elements now we declare what we're going to declare now let's do a for statement like a loop to pick the number and then move it to the text box so we'll say four and n equals zero so and let's do the n and the length of the pick three dot length and then increment start going around now with this we have to do the check one value to pick the number next the next number in the range of 1 to 10 of course you can change it any way you want here any range you want um, of course don't forget the semicolon here, column here now let's do the loop with the while statement and what you do if pick three 
contains check one then what we have to do if this one contains check one we have to put to make pick three with the position n equal check one now we move the value and now let's do text box one dot text equal let's have equal that one the uh, the the check the check one so we do check one and don't forget to convert it to string otherwise will not show up or we'll get will you will have an error and then we close it here now we have everything done here on the side of the first text box let's copy this and do it again and let's change here to check two and two 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 and text box two okay this is what we have to do here okay here too we done boo boo so let's do two and dot perfect now we did the second number on the text box too and here let's do it this way and here let's do it for the third text box by changing three here and put the third number here then third number to the pick three we put it on the text box three word and convert check three to here so now we have just to be sure we have text box one then the second number on text box two and the third number on text box three let's run it here you go we pick perfect now every time you pick we'll pick different number from one to ten every time you pick the program it's work fine I hope you enjoy it. You can use these. If you have any question, you can email me at Aaron at SandProSolutions.com. Uh, Aaron at SandProSolutions.com. And please uh, put, uh, put any comments. If you have in mind any other uh, program you'd like to see, I will be more happy to do it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.